The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be discussing bonus games you can play on your Dreamcast. And you're probably wondering, bonus games? Yes, recently Stone Age Gamer sent me a Terra Onion mode. This is a great option for people that want to play additional games on their Dreamcast or by replacing their optical drive with an SD card reader or using your hard drive or a thumb drive to play your Dreamcast games. It's a cool way of playing on original hardware without soldering, that's right. Fairly easy to install. I'm gonna do a brief overview and then show you my picks for some bonus games using this device. So sit back, relax, let's take a look. The Terra Onion mode is both compatible with the Sega Saturn and the Sega Dreamcast. In today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on the Sega Dreamcast. Terra Onion has an online PDF for installation, but I also am gonna do a brief overview here. Also, make sure that your Dreamcast is unplugged before you start unscrewing and touching the internals. First, you take out your Sega Dreamcast modem compartment. Before you go any further, it's important to note that this is only compatible with uh, revisions zero and one. And so the number right by the NTSC sticker on the bottom of your Sega Dreamcast will tell you what number it is, what revision. And so you need to take that into consideration because revision two is not compatible. Take these four screws out from the case of your Sega Dreamcast and pop your top off. Next, you're gonna take out your optical drive. It is held in with these three screws. Take those out and carefully take out your optical drive. It may be in there rather firm. It should look like this. Congrats, you are being successful so far. Categorize your games in a folder and make sure to have a folder labeled Saturn or Dreamcast in the root file of your storage. Attach your feet to the mode, but do not take the tape off as you may be adjusting it and taking it in and out as needed. I keep the tape on. It is rather difficult to get the micro SD card in and out, but they do make a 3D printed part to make it easier. You can safely store your optical drive with the bag that came with the mode and place it back in the box. Put the top of your Dreamcast case on and when you power it on, uh, it'll look like this. Many different options and settings where you can play around. Now I'm gonna show you some bonus games to play with your mode. Let's jump into the games and some of these recently just came out. So I'm super excited about sharing some of these games because they just got announced. First up, Metal Slug 6, that's right. A lot of people didn't play Metal Slug 6 because it was a Thomas Wave arcade game and that was an obscure hardware. It didn't really, it wasn't really successful. Well, because of Megavolt 85, has converted this, that's right, it's not using an emulator, he converted it, Metal Slug 6, to the Sega Dreamcast, but wait, there's more. And so he has also announced that there's other Atomus Wave games coming to the Sega Dreamcast, and he also announced that King of Fighters 11 is available. Holy cow, super amazing that these great games are now available to play on a Dreamcast. You know, uh, the Sega Dreamcast shared some hardware uh, to this obscure arcade hardware uh, with a, a couple different tweaks. Megavolt 85 was able to port these awesome games to the Dreamcast, very sweet. Next up is a pair of freeware games, and there's others. These are my picks. Volgar the Viking is available to play for free on your Dreamcast. It's been available for a while. This is a very, very challenging side scroller. I've talked a little bit about this game in the past. I know Pixel Heart is offering a physical copy of this with uh, you know, high, uh, nice quality case and manual, but you can download and play this for free. And I know Volgar the Viking was offered on many different things, but it's so cool that you can play it this way as well. But wait, there's more. Gianna's Return, and this is uh, kind of a, a spiritual uh, successor to the great Gianna Sisters Commodore 64 classic game. Gianna's Return is a great little side-scrolling platformer 
definitely a homebrew style game for the Sega Dreamcast, and it's available on other things as well. The website will be below. It's freeware, you can play it, enjoy it, great. And I really enjoyed uh, seeing this. Uh, you know, in these projects, you know, these, these games that come out, you know, on the Dreamcast. You know, the Dreamcast wasn't that successful, but there's so many people that have gotten behind it and have supported it uh, coming out, so it's awesome. Next up is a couple of Beats of Rage open source games. Beats of Rage open, a BUR open is uh, is kind of a uh, an engine, a sprite engine in which many different types of games have been made for the Sega Dreamcast being one of the platforms, but Beats of Rage open is available on other things as well. But the, there's two that I really like. And so the two I like, are a Golden Axe remake for Sega Dreamcast. It, 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 it looks like the original, but it's a little bit different. Definitely pretty sweet. And Mega Man uh, War of the Past. And so playing a Mega Man brawler is really sweet, really large sprites, really like what they did with that. And so those are the types of games I really enjoy playing. Um, you know, these, these kind of, the, you know, sp not sprite hacks, but you know, using, Using resources from other games, they're able to mash these games together and make some really cool stuff. So it's really sweet to see that. There's some other news coming out. So Mario 64 has been reversed engineered, which means it doesn't need an emulator. So you're seeing Mario 64 on different platforms. And yes, it has came to the Sega Dreamcast. The sound isn't all there or it's not working right but the actual game is there. And here's Mario 64 playing on a Dreamcast. You can really mess with people too. And so you can say, oh yeah, it was. It came out. You don't remember that? I recommend that. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it runs pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So, you know, the, this, this device, as well as things released for the Sega Dreamcast, there's tons of other things. There's emulators, uh, Sega Master System comes to mind. I remember back in the day playing a lot of Sega Master System on the Sega Dreamcast. And so, but there's also, there's also some really cool arcade ports and one of them is Simpsons Arcade. And so I, I know that's a fan favorite of many people out there. So you may want to check that out as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is another one that comes to mind. They're not perfect. The sound is a little bit off, but still four player support, pretty sweet. And so you may want to check those games out as well there's many other arcade ports as well as MAME and some other things uh, available for the Sega Dreamcast. I'm just talking about the ones that I, I found kind of interesting or ones that I experienced back in the day. Next up, two unreleased games that never came out, uh, near complete, and so the first one is Half-Life. Half-Life being probably one of the more famous games to be canceled on the Sega Dreamcast at the 11th hour. You know, uh, for, for, for various reasons, it got pulled. You know, by then the Dreamcast wasn't doing that great. I mean, there even was a strategy guide ready to go and it got, it got canned. And so very uh, sad to not see that come out. But the good news is, is that the um, game has been leaked online and it is available in multiple places. And so you can find Half-Life on the internet as well as the next game I'm going to be announcing, and that's Propeller Arena. And Propeller Arena uh, had some sensitive material in it right at the time of 9-11. It was shelved, and it's kind of like twisted metal in the sky. And so it's a great kind of air combat game, and it's a lot of arcade fun there. And so those are my picks for bonus games to play on a Sega Dreamcast. You do not have to use this to play many of these. You can uh, burn your own image and make it make put them on CD and play that, play them that way. Also, if you are interested in this device, the link is below as this is available at Stone Age Gamer and they are taking pre-orders and shipping mid-November. Do I like it? Yes. It is expensive though. This is not gonna be for everybody. There's a couple things I wish they would have done. I think that the 3D printed SD card mount should be included with this. It is a major pain to take the SD card in and out. Now, there, it does support hard drives as well, so maybe you don't have to do that, you know, like kind of one and done. It also supports USB drives, so there's that as well. But the link is below if you're interested, and check it out at Stone Age Gamer. I wanna thank them for sending me this to talk about. These are my bonus games I recommend with the Sega Dreamcast. And what are yours? I wanna hear from you. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. 
As always, please keep it positive. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as I am uploading every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much and you take care.